You are the promised breath of springtime. Do 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 do. You are the angel dust that makes a star. Ooh. All the things you are. You are the world. I just got back from my walk to the park and I had a full on visitation there. I was meditating and praying in the rose garden and I was visited by a hummingbird that uh, hovered and, and kept flew right by my, right up to my face and just stayed there and looked at me for a while. <laughs> I was so, so blown away by that. Oh my gosh. And it happened right after I threw something in the fountain and made a wish too. I'm not gonna tell you what it was, but let's just say it's something I've been waiting for all my life. Then I threw down this reed and um, I got this. Um, all right, this is really interesting after the walk. This card went down first. Look, it's the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, then came this, the Six of Swords. You're being guided away from here to your pen, Ten of Pentacles and, and Seven of Swords in a very strategic way, somehow. This person is waiting for you. He didn't come out first, though. First, this person came out. First, I got, okay. <laughs> first, I got, you have been through the looking glass, through the looking glass. You've been through the looking glass. This is all a big secret, okay? It's like that T-O-P secret kind of stuff, right? Okay, and guess what else? Look, there was a nuclear physicist involved. Check that out. For whoever's hip to this shit, check it out, okay? This was part of the attack on me. I was kept waiting all my life. While someone else supervised the cultivation of my gifts. In this T.O.P. secret project, right? Well, guess who's like that now? Somebody's caught up because I never, I never had knowledge and never gave my permission for all the things that happened to me. It's an outrage, all the things that were done to me. But those burdens, because they're caught up, are now being shifted. Look, this is the Ten of Wands. Look who they're being shifted onto. Check it out. Okay, and here's, here's, your, here's your chief. Just call me Buffy, okay? Just call me Buffy. This is me with my little puppy dog. Isn't he cute? He's, I've got him under control though, look at that. He gets a little overly rambunctious sometimes, but you know. And here are the members. <coughs> <coughs> These are the members of the coven here in town. Look how confused they look. Check out their faces, they look confused. 
You know why? Because they're hungry. They can't get anything in those cups anymore. Those gimme, 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 fill my cup, empty cups. Okay, and look here. A rat from my past is about wants to apologize to me. But guess what? It's too late. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Do do do. Ba 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 ba. <whistles> These are the members of my court who are waiting for me somewhere to help me. This is an extremely bright lawyer and an extremely serious judge who is not playing. Now for all the people who've been sending the fatties at me in the gang stalking, I want you to see that I'm losing weight without even trying. Look at it. A lot of this is gone just in the last day or two. In meditation, I was given a vision of the future of Alamogordo, New Mexico. The first thing I was given was that Alamogordo is resting on top of one of the biggest ant colonies in the world. That's the first thing I got, okay? It's sitting on top of a gigantic ant colony. <laughs> then I was given that Alamogordo is going to begin having sinkhole problems. And I was shown in the future Alamogordo as a ghost town. That's what I saw in the future. Alamogordo is going to be a ghost town eventually to be covered by the sand, the white sands. That was what I was shown this morning.